When you say nibosh, people often think, ah, exams, ah, hard work. Right. It's hard, there's no doubt about it, it's hard. It's the equivalent of an A-level, and A-levels are hard. Nibosh recommends somewhere in the region of 108 hours of study, and that includes the assessments. They reckon it takes about 68 hours of direct tuition, plus another 40 hours of private study and assessment. That's a lot of work. That's like three weeks, three full-time weeks of work. And at the end of it, you're gonna sit some assessments, so you might end up doing a ton of work and then fail at the end. And then have to do a load more work and maybe even fail again. And it's not cheap either. You can get courses for as little as 350 quid, although be careful, the exam fees are not included in that. And it can go all the way up to two and a half thousand pounds. If you do it in a classroom, in a hotel, posh venue, and then you add on your hotel fees. Ooh. Uh, it's expensive and it's time consuming and there's no guarantee of success at the end. And you might think, well, is it really worth the effort? Well, in my view, and you would expect me to say this because I am a course provider, yes, yes, absolutely it is. The Nibosh General Certificate is the international standard level three qualification for health and safety. I mean, for many, for the UK and many countries around the world, it is definitely the gold standard. If you want to be a health and safety professional, this is the qualification that you start with. And there aren't really, certainly not in the UK, but no competitor qualifications that are really taken seriously on the market. There are some of us, there are some NVQs, but the lower level NVQs aren't really all that well recognized. Can't remember a job advert asking for one. And then there is the IOSH level three certificates, which is so unknown that I don't even know what the damn thing is called. Never seen it on a job advert and there are very, very few companies actually delivering it. And I couldn't I couldn't name anyone who has it off the top of my head. Nibosh definitely dominate the market. No disrespect to NVQs and IOSH, who have probably got a great, great course qualification there. It is the qualification that I passed in 2003 when I started my career, and it started me on a route to what has been a very rewarding career. Thanks to my Nibosh general certificate, I got my first proper safety job as a health and safety professional in financial services. And then I moved on into manufacturing. And that was just with a general certificate. From there, I used that to springboard onto other qualifications. I got a construction cert, I got a fire cert, I got my Nibosh National Diploma. So yeah, I didn't stop with the general certificate, but the general certificate really did open doors and got me my first job in health and safety. Now, if you're not looking to have a career in health and safety, then if you're working in operations, in engineering, maintenance, facilities, there are loads of kind of operational frontline jobs where a general certificate is highly beneficial because you are a manager of risk. You have risk in your department. You've got a team of people, you've got some activities, you've got risk. And you know what? It's better to have the NEBOS general certificate on your CV than not have it because one of the other job applicants probably has it on their CV. And straight away, you're at a disadvantage if you do not have it. So it really does give you a competitive edge in the job market. And more than that, more than that, it actually does make you a better manager, as far as I can tell. Because the management principles that we teach on the Nibos General Certificate are actually applicable to all types of management. It doesn't matter if you're managing safety or production or sales or whatever it is. It's like you're managing people. And so to have a great understanding of how to manage and management systems and leadership and the whole idea of plan, do, check and act, monitoring how things are working and acting to change things. It's like all of that is transferable knowledge which will help you become a better manager. Now, there are some ways in which you could maximize the, the gains but minimizing the pain. You can do a classroom course, a virtual course, an online course. And so obviously I've got a, I'm biased here. I, I think you should do it with Compassa, but let me just give you a bit of a rundown as to what some of the dangers are really, and the pros and cons of different approaches. In a classroom course, you'll get lots of interaction with your fellow students, but interaction is not always a good thing. You can get some right Muppets on a classroom course. And then there are different ways in which you can do the classroom course. You can do it one day a week, over say nine weeks or 10 weeks, or maybe even like 15 weeks in some places. And then there are others who do block weeks. You might have two block weeks with a long gap in between them. You'll have like one block week in June and then another block week in July. And then you've got the dreaded two block weeks back to back, just cramming, cramming, cramming. 
Different formats have different pass rates. The best pass rate for a classroom course is to do the one day a week approach. Well, that's maybe just me as a tutor. That's my preference. When I deliver a two week back to back, it's just too much information to take in. That's why, just too much information to take in. Those are the pros and cons of classrooms. Now, with a virtual course, if you're doing it on Zoom or Teams or something like that, you've got to think about, again, is it block weeks? Is it one day a week or whatever it is? But the thing with virtual training is that you actually don't get a lot of interaction. Go into the breakout room, work together, talk to each other. Come on, people, talk to each other in your breakout room and you do some kind of activity. Now, if you want a great alternative, come check us out. Of course, we are the only provider of interactive video courses for the Nibosh General Certificate. We put loads of human personality into them. I'm not gonna show you that here. Just go on our website, check out the demo videos. It sells itself. I don't need to describe it. Different ways of doing the course have different pass rates. So just think very carefully about which approach you're going to take and what, and what the likelihood of success is for you depending on that approach. If you're someone who has no discipline, who procrastinates a lot, I'll be honest, I don't think you should study with Compassa. I don't think you should study online because when you're studying online, you kind of are by yourself to some extent. And if you're that kind of person who lacks discipline and work ethic, you should go on a classroom course because then it's in the diary, you're gonna show up, put the work in, you're forced to attend, like you've got a better chance of passing there. But if you've got some discipline, if you're motivated, if you want the qualification, if you're prepared to put the work in, do an online course with Compassa, way more fun, way more effective, and you'll have the benefit of me tutoring you. Is the Nibosh General Certificate worth it? Yes, as long as you get it in the end, it's absolutely worth it. But do yourself a favor and choose carefully how you do it so you can maximize the gains while minimizing the pain.